guys, it's Total Maxwell here, and welcome to a video that's going to be a little bit different to the videos you've seen in the past. And basically, uh, as you know, uh, two, day, two or three days ago, I put out a tweet saying I was completely sick of FM and wasn't enjoying it, and just I was emotionally drained from the game. Well, this video is just to really reflect on how, just in the case of one moment, how your emotions can flip from being hating the game to just absolutely loving it. So my plan was initially on Tuesday, it's uh, Thursday, sorry, so it's going to be a small story before we properly get into the game and show some footage. I'm saying to myself, right, I'm going to take a wee break, I'm, I'm burnt out for the game, it's just annoying me, I really don't like playing it more, right? So the last time I'd played it, I'd played up to maybe the, the start of January, end of January, the uh, last couple of folk I'd brought in, yeah, I'd signed the likes of Castano, I'd signed Cherney, here, Black Lab Cherney, I'd signed him. And I'd sign Harry Chapman, right? I just turned it off after that and like sign them, cool, played them once, but no interest anymore, don't care, right? Took my break, as you know, uh, I was streaming this model save, so I just decided to stream WWE with WWE for two days, fine, no FM, felt great. So I go to Friday night, and I'm watching, I'm sitting thinking, oh, it's, it's quite late, you know, I, you know, everybody knows me, I've got a ridiculous sleep pattern. What, what can I do? What can I play? I put FM on, play at the end of January. You know, one, two games out of two, I'm like, I'm just I'm still not enjoying this. Don't care, right? You know, so just switch it back off. Don't think anything of it. So I'm just chilling, I'm playing a couple of games. I get told there's this dance festival on um, on Twitch. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll sit and watch it. So I'll immediately switch another game off because, like, the music in the, the game will distract me if it doesn't this music here. Also, I don't know why, this is weird. When I play FM, I just sometimes like just chilling to dance music. I'm not a dance music guy, it's just it works with FM. You know, if people know me, I listen to rock and all that, you know, especially pre match for football, it's rock, rock, rock. So with that on, I'm like, well, the only, if I'm listening to this music, the only game I can play is FM. I hate it, I don't care, but you know, I might as well force myself through this season, and that means when I get back to streaming it in a couple of weeks, you know, great, we'll still start with the season. No bother. So I'm just listening to this festival, and there's some okay tunes and that. I'm playing it, I'm just not even caring the FM, it's like, this is manager, you pick a team, same formation, only team tops will do a pre-match, half-time and full-time, somebody gets subbed on, don't even talk to them, so it's fine. And we keep winning. And we keep winning. And we keep winning. We win a semi-final, we keep winning. We beat Aberdeen, we beat St Mirren, we beat Hearts, we beat Dundee, we beat Rangers, convincingly. We keep winning. We beat Ray. League Cup final. Didn't even pay attention to the League Cup final. Then I know it's a win win 91st minute penalty. See, no subs used. Didn't even care. I'll take it. Win again. We beat Inverness. We beat Hibernian. Then a draw against Dundee United. I'm thinking, meh, it's FM fucked me over. Then we beat Rangers. We beat Hibs. And we beat Hearts. Amazing, right? Okay. Great run for them. So I went for like whatever, 15 odd points behind Celtic to 5. There's two, game, two games to go. Celtic travel to Hearts. We take on Aberdeen, the team I usually struggle against. We go to Aberdeen, we win 2 0. We score in 29 minutes, Jim Love. We score in 90 plus 3, great counter attack. Celtic was at Tyne Castle, the gap's 2 points. Last game of the season, I was against Celtic. I'm still using this whole, you know, assistant pick the team, me just going, yep, team top, blah blah blah. That's it, the only time I'll make a change if it's an injury. You see there, Jasper Nielsen, injury. And a couple of late ones because I'd actually kill them. So, last game, I'm facing Celtic. You can see the situation here if I cut it up the screen. That's your situation. Two points behind. We play Celtic at home in the last day of the season. FM's fucked me over enough in the last couple of years, so I'm going to ask much. Expecting, you know, to get fucked over again. So, let's get to the stage now. It's the end of this dance festival, right? And T it's Tiesto's playlist, right? I'm thinking, no, oh, he's alright, you know, I don't know a couple of songs, okay, or whatever, I'm listen to him. But what about is about to unfold is just simply just unbelievable. So I've got to get that back off. This is the game against Celtic. This is, is how you win a is how you win a league in style. Honestly, this again, assistant picked the team. I wasn't really caring, I just kinda of thought that right, let's just, you know, get into it. Let's get the game going, you know, they'll end up scoring, you know, they've got Verde Cartabia, you know, they've got all these players, they'll get cocked in in 97k a week, Claudio Bravo, Can I, yeah, and you know, it's just a far better team than us, but this, this was just amazing. 
And for the first 45 minutes, I literally did not care. So I thought, FM's going to fuck me over again, it's fucked me over that much. As you can see here, it looks like Celtic going to score there, Cathibia, and that's a great save for our keeper there. Just unbelievable, great save from Rob McCrory. But I still thought, you know, it's going to be all Celtic, they're getting all the decisions. And then the drab first half was at 0 0. So again, I'm thinking, uh, nothing's really going to happen here. And we're still playing the same 4 2 3 1. Another chance there hits the post. Again, you think, great, one of those days. So we're having a couple of chances now. So it's nice, decent build up play. And again, we're firing it over. Again, is this going to be my day? I'm just thinking, surely not. It's not going to be my day. Then Celtic get a bit of pressure. You know, this is when they're starting to bring in, I think it's is it Adagio for strings. I don't know how to pronounce the song. I don't care. I mean, I don't know them enough. But it's one of those songs that's got like a good build up to it. So he's starting to plenty of that. You know, so this is like, this is like the middle of the night as well. So you know, it's like proper like dance atmosphere going on on my headset and I'm having to try and remain calm knowing that we could possibly win a championship here. This is still 0 now, remember. So despite the fact it says 1-0 up there, that's how it finishes, right? It's still 0 now. more new fires over. So I'm freaking out. Last minute. I've resorted to plan B. I'm going to pause it now. And reverse this. Now you remember, when I've done the streams, at the back three and put one up front. At this moment in time, I don't know if it'll let me see, Formations. Right, so that's the formations to start with, right? At this moment in time, Castano's playing at centre back, Carvey's still on the anchor man, and it's the exact same except Jim Love's over on the left hand side, and Fraser Kerr is now up as a target man. Sorry, Wilkinson's up, and Kerr's up as a target man. So that's my centre half is up and ready to try and get us to go. This is the 92nd minute, near 93rd minute, right? So you get the ball here, Carvey plays a long ball forward, Wilkinson squares it. Of all people, Fraser Kerr, 93rd minute, wins us the league championship. This is when the dad goes for strings. It's, it's put properly just into the proper build up. It's going to be just at the big dance beat. This is the middle of the night. I'm going mental. I'm trying to wake everybody up. It's simply insane. I've never had anything like it in 15 years of football manager. Simply crazy. And of course, the game continues. Celtic get a couple of chances here. The referee blows the whistle. And there you have it. Somehow, some way, we have just won the championship. And as you know, guys, I'd, I'd screwed up a lot of championships forward in great position. But there you go. From 88 to 85, Celtic before the, Celt the, the Hearts game, we're going to be an 18 game unbeaten run. We were at 20. That's how close it was. And in the end, that last gas goal was enough to win us the championship. And boy, I went mental. And even if, if MD seen my tweets at that time, you know, I was I was going apeshit, man. I, I was on such a high at that time, like literally just like this is this is insane. This is actually insane. I just I honestly struggled to sleep after it. It was just such a high. You see, their games that was in Twenty One Street now it's unbelievable. So it just shows that FM can go for this kind of thing emotionally, where you don't care, just you hate it, you want a break. And just the way the situation works out, you're like, okay, I'll, I'll get a shot, and they powered it, and, and I love the game again, apparently. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, being in the Champions League model, and I'm really happy. It just shows the emotional effect. FM, it may not be the greatest game in the world, but by God, it can be one of the most uh, emotionally attached games in the world. What I like again is, the Harry Chapman came in in January. He ended up getting top assists, 12 assists, so he was outstanding. Um, the other boy we brought in from Ajax, it was actually a pre-contract to start with, back up Chelney. We just decided to buy him, so we had him in. With him coming in and scoring 15 and 16 games, 6 penalties, 5 assists, it was just unbelievable and just wow. Honestly, would not have had it any other way. What a, just what a way to win a title. And just shows guys, we, might, we give FM as much, you know, we give it a lot of shit, you know, we give Miles a lot of shit, but uh, certainly way ahead of FIFA etc in terms of emotional investment. But as I say guys, I just wanted to show this video because again, one, it shows the, the emotional attachment FM gives and two, because I always I stream most of the model save and just because I was fed up and didn't want to stream it and this happened, you know, just to let people see the outcome and how it all came about. So thanks for tuning in guys, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, if you get any comments please leave them in the, the comments section below and until next time, this is 21 Maxwell, 
the model will stable hopefully come back to Twitch in the next couple of weeks. And until next time, see you later on. Bye bye.